and glide with the symphony. Cool. She has a taste for Marlboro cigarettes in high-performance carburetors. I like this. That was two years ago. Tanya was putting on a good face after coming so close to winning an Olympic medal. But the bronze went to Nancy Kerrigan. Just going to the Olympics was my dream, but actually being in there and being fourth place, I, I'm thrilled with fourth place. I, I mean, I was a little bit disappointed with not getting a medal, but the next Olympics only two years away, and so I can look forward to that. Her ambition and ability developed early, and she quickly learned that skating was a good escape from a messy home life. Here as a little girl who grew up on the, in the rough side of town, with, for all practical purposes, a split family. Her father was her mother's fifth husband. She was purportedly abused as a child, loved by her father, had a love-hate relationship with the mother. The ice rink became her home. She spent less and less time at school. At the age of 15, Tanya dropped out and fell in love with a boy named Jeff Galuli. He has given her unconditional love and support through all the ups and downs. He doesn't care whether she skates or whether she works. He wants her to be happy. But it was a relationship she always ended up having to defend. My husband's my best friend. He's the person I would trust for anyone. If anybody accomplishes what they've always wanted to accomplish in life, I don't think they'd want to be alone to do that. And I'm just glad that I'm not alone. At about the same time, Galuli was a bit more candid about the behind-the-scenes turmoil. She's definitely set in her ways, and we might get into a little, uh, little, little brawl now and then about what, what's, what's going to go on, and usually she wins. So she, I mean, I'll admit it to the world, she's, she's the boss of the family. <laughs> That's about as good as it ever got for Jeff and Tanya. Circumstantial evidence seems to be that he was very disruptive element and in influence in her life and when he's been around and they've been together her life is much rockier from the outside than it is when they're those times when they're apart tanya and jeff used to come to this bowling alley outside of portland it was here tanya was seen shooting pool and smoking cigarettes there was a flurry of bad publicity about that but tanya didn't seem to care Sometimes it's sad because of the bad press and everything, but, you know, you always have to go with the flow, and, and if people want to say things about me, then, you know, they have their own opinions, and they can say what they would like. That was her attitude. I am Tanya Harding, a world-class skater. Darlene Ferguson was a friend to Tanya during the bad times. She was around when Jeff and Tanya were featured regularly in local police reports for domestic violence. Tanya continued to skate despite the distractions. She filed for divorce and was so terrified of Jeff, she got a restraining order. She was also afraid of Jeff's brother. They had threatened, um, I don't know whether I, I should say they, because I was not there, but she had told us before that they had threatened to break her legs so she couldn't skate. Now investigators believe it was Jeff Galuli's idea to cripple Nancy Kerrigan and clear Tanya's path to Olympic gold. Sources tell NBC News Galuli has been linked to payments made to the hitman and the getaway driver. Galuli denies that. We're just here to voluntarily surrender to an arrest warrant. That's the only reason we're here. Right. And even though Tanya has once again separated from Galuli, she may suffer because of their relationship. Even though she hasn't been charged in the Kerrigan plot, even though her lawyers say she'll be cleared, she has been tainted. The Olympic Committee may be nervous, but it wouldn't be like Harding to quit now. I love competing, and to work so hard and to get to that point where you can do that, you know, I mean, I would have to skate. If, if I was on my deathbed, then I wouldn't, but, I mean, it, it doesn't matter if I'm sick or not. I go out there and I'll skate. There's no doubt she's one of America's best, but as has happened too often in Tanya's life, the choice may not be hers to make. And what a moment for this young lady. Oh, oh so nice. Mr. terrific, Mr. Oh. terrific. Tanya Harding continues to deny that she was involved in the plot to hurt Nancy Kerrigan. 
Meanwhile, the U.S. Figure Skating Association is expected to vote next week on whether to keep Tanya Harding on the team for next month's Olympic Games.